So, hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are talking about the worst books that I have read. And um, these are like mostly two stars. I don't have a lot of one star books because I mean I am I have to hate a book if I'm going to give it one star, but I do have one a uh, one star book here, so Let's just talk about it. I feel a little bad because there is like one author who is on here like three times. And um, you know, on my uh, best list, I have like, uh, you can only have one author on like, you can only have a author on once, but <sighs> I don't have that many of my worst books. So I am, I'm going to say it right here. These are not particularly bad books. These are just books that I particularly didn't like. And yeah, let's just start. Uh, so the first one is Null Fairies. And uh, this was an arc that I had from Netgalley. And um, it just seemed like something that I could like. But when I went into it, uh, I don't even remember what half of these books are about. But basically, what I didn't like, there was, you know, it was this, you know, the man looks totally normal. And then you have the woman, you kind of have these, like, almost no clothes. And then you have these stances where, you know, you just get really sexualized. And I don't like that at all. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't, I don't pr appreciate, I don't appreciate it. Um, so I give it two stars because there was some things, you know, it was like a few things that were interested in this, interesting in this book, but I just, <sighs> the drawings really, ruin things for me and uh yeah i just didn't like that so then i have salem slot and this is the um, author that i'm going to talk a lot about in my worst book so i don't really i don't know why i keep on trying sometimes you know but uh, salem slot uh, this is basically about this guy who used to live in Salem's lot and there are there was this person who moved in there and uh, basically it's vampires there and basically they are kind of taking over the whole thing so I just felt like I didn't connect with this I didn't like it I wasn't like captivated if I am going to read like a thriller or um, something in those lines, I need to be scared. I wasn't scared of this. I was just pretty bored, so I gave it two stars. I mean, it wasn't like I hated it with like everything that I had, but I did. I just didn't like it. I didn't connect with it. It might just be uh, Stephen King's older work. Uh, that is why I'm working myself through it but I feel I just feel really bad for not liking any one of the books that I have read by him I'm going to say that so the next one is Odd Thomas and in this one we are following Odd Thomas and uh, basically he is a vampire killer and he can talk to ghosts or something so um I was bored that was like the whole reason why i didn't like this i was really bored and there was like things that happened that i was just like why and yeah pretty much didn't like it pretty bored and i just i wanted to quit so many times and i don't know why i didn't then we have Siri, who am I? And this is also, this was also, I think, 
like something. This was one of my most anticipated releases because it sounded really interesting because it is about this uh, girl and basically she's in the hospital and she has no idea who she is, like no name or anything. So she kind of needs to, you know, uh, Siri has to help her to kind of figure out who she is and where she lives and everything. So the reason why I didn't like this, I just felt like does hospitals, you know, really just boot you out without even you knowing who you are with just the uh the like word that go do your normal things and she's like i don't remember i don't even know who i am like do actually hospitals do that i mean in norway you would never have been released from the hospital without you know them they knowing who you really are uh, I just find that really strange and uh, yeah there was just things that could have been so much easier you know and um, yeah the main character she just did so much stupid things and I mean, also, she has a really bad head wound, and you know, they are like, they just send her out. And I'm like, but if she has a really bad head wound, also, like, don't you check it out? Like, has she fallen, or is it something much worse, you know? And yeah, I just. I did not care for this book and um, yeah, I was really disappointed in it. Then we have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and this just might be me, but I have no recollection of this. I have no idea. I do know that it's about this man who is going with someone out in space. I don't remember anything else. I didn't care. I just listened to it and um, forgot about it and gave it two stars. So, I mean, clearly it was like a, this was terrible. I'm going to give it one star. Um, but it was just pretty forgettable. And, um, yeah. Then we have rage and i mean i just feel like this is not the author's fault just because i read this and i know that he has uh, you know it's no longer in print so yeah but you know this i kind of get why it's now no longer published you know uh because there are some things that Yeah, people don't like and so it's basically about the school shooting and uh, yeah so I gave it two stars uh, the thing is the reason why I didn't give it a one star was because the writing is good you know the writing is okay and I was you know I just th yeah the writing was good so Overall, it was an okay book. I just didn't want, I didn't like the themes in the book. So, then we have Night Shift, and this is Stephen King's um, short story collection. You'll know that I don't like short story collections, so I, yeah, there are very few short stories that I like. If you go into my Goodreads, you will see that a lot of books on my goodreads red shelf there are not a lot of books that are short so yeah this was just a lot of different 
uh, short stories. There was some that I liked. I can't say which ones because I don't remember, but you know, there was a few I did like, but then, you know, I took and found the, the, you know, added up and divided all my ratings and it came to two. So, and then the last book is also a Stephen King book. So, yeah. And that is The Shining. I gave this one star. That says something. I hated this book. And I don't know why I finished it because I. Yeah, I just. I didn't like this at all. And I just felt like. Yeah, I was doing other things while, you know, reading this. And, um. Yeah. So I will try out a few more Stephen King books. But if I don't. I mean. Like a few more if I don't like um, any one of those, I might just wait with it, you know? But I am curious about uh, some of the books. But I am only going to, you know, um, read the books that I can get for like free from like a subscription service that I have because I don't want to buy anything just because I don't know if I will like it or not. So that was all my worst books. Um, sorry, not sorry. These are my opinions. I know a lot of people love Stephen King and I just think that it all comes down to your taste. Because some books that I love, a lot of people hate. So, yeah. But that was enough of this. I hope you liked it and I will see you next time for another video. Bye!